or well we have a beautiful October day here in uh, my place have a good cup of coffee and uh, it's been a while since I was in the Civil War Grand Tatitian so I'm looking forward to go back to it uh, I hope I hope you all are well there are some good news a certain certain uh, invader in another real life situation in a certain certain defender is going on a counter offensive very good news if you ask me i i i, I give uh i give him my full support so um glad to glad to hear that in the civil war uh we are in 1864 june midsummer and uh i think this campaign is drawing to a close i will try to put in the patience to actually finish off uh, this campaign because it's been going on for such a long time, but I am actually a bit eager to start up a new game Either as the Union a full campaign or maybe playing out a couple of uh, Battles I am still learning new stuff about this game uh, Even after over 200 hours from other youtubers I'm trying to watch them at a bit higher speed and put in a few comments and I'm also reading up on the on the steam forums discussions uh, but I don't learn a lot there. There's I don't know the. It seems like the general audience is kind of uh, amateurish as, with the game as 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 well as I am. Overall, the union is uh, fielding around eighty-five thousand or so uh, more troops than I am, and they're down to. 53 morale, as you know, if you follow the series, but generally there is no major worries uh, along the entire front line. If there is any worry, it, it might be that the first core in Kentucky, 32,000 men, enemies, Union troops are heading down to the Cumberland Pass here. And even though it says 20,000, that's just a nominal force. It's actually, there are no troops here. It's just the, the, the headquarters, maybe a cavalry uh, uh, brigade. But in two to four days, there should arrive a substantial uh, uh, reinforcement. It might not get up to 20,000, but we should be able to fight the defensive battle uh, like two to one odds. And <clears throat> the very elite first core, Georgian core, is coming. So I think we're going to be able to fight them off in case they try to invade this route. Other than that, the only Union invasions is... Uh, the Army of the James with its first core. So Army of the James is only a thirty thousand man army. I say only because in sixty four it's not it's not that great. And we have the reserve corps sitting here in uh, Winchester. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. So actually, it looks like the the major offensive impetus of the war is is from the south. We're sitting here with the Army of Shenandoah in Frederick and we have initiative I think the last three it was named Lee versus so I think the Union yeah they're retreating here from Washington so Lee defeated Burnside outside Washington and I think I conclude that this might be a, uh, a, a decisive battle of the war because now look with these troops in tatters we can move out with the army of Shenandoah under uh, Jones command here I just haven't decided uh, where to uh, move do we still have yeah we we even uh, have a, a capture depot in Frederick so we're we should be in good supply this is the best army in the southern or in the southern armed forces uh, it says it's 25,000 troops that might be a nominal strength but they should be able to fight most armies around here. So let's see. What if we move into Baltimore? Is that what we want to do? I think we still we control Gettysburg. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna try to capture Baltimore. Um, here's a new thing. I learned that if you hover over towns, you can see a workforce available. You can find out this manufactory here, for example, has. Sometimes you have lower workforce. Uh, yeah, for example, you have only 88% total workforce here. Don't quite know how... Oh, they use slaves in the Union. That's weird. But anyway, if you have substantially lower workforce than what's needed for 
production buildings in one state, you might not want to recruit heavily from that state, even if you have a lot of volunteers available. How important is that? I think it's not extremely important, but it's something I learned from watching tutorials and YouTube videos. And I haven't mentioned it before in this, in this extremely long series. So I just thought I'd share, share that new insight. So, uh, first core under Kirby Smith is moving. Let's try to position them on top of the railway here. And the railway order is active. And the game did not unpause uh, when I gave the order. So that's good. I like, I think I, I prefer to give all my, my commands uh, before I unpause. Other than that, I, I, I actually think the Carolinas and Virginia, there are no invasions. We might even, oh, huh, this is weird. Yeah, Army of New England is not an invasion because it's retreating or uh, routing. So we need to keep an eye on it. It's it's in bad shape. It's only 7,000 and the Army of Richmond here under uh, Johnston is constantly uh, making it retreat because obviously they're out of supply, but I can't drive them out of Virginia. They just keep bouncing around here. So, uh, <clears throat> but when we're done, uh, securing the Richmond area, th this army of, the, of Richmond, which is obviously the garrison of Richmond, which should maybe move over to Fort Monroe and siege it. But, oh, 240 garrison. Is that the default garrison? I think it is, yeah. It's just that some forts over in the Indian territories have eight-man garrison, so 248 garrison is quite large, but I think it's one of those kind of level two forts that you start the game. You can see it ha it's a stone fort. Yeah, it has two yellow dots. That should that should mean it's a level two fort. The capacity is not five, but 10,000 twice as much. Right, but anyway. Um, that That's maybe the two, er the three areas we're going to focus on. Because as you know, all right. Uh, I mean, I see no reason not to engage here. Um, we moved up upon them. They should be in bad shape. They should have low morale or readiness. And we should be attacking them. But I, I suspect we will get the defensive order. Maybe that's because we're in Virginia, which is my territory. Could that be the reason? Uh, I really haven't asked on any forums about this, but I am very confused about how you can move up upon a defending army and always get the defensive position, which is much stronger. I'd say it's at least two to one, uh, maybe even three to one worth. You, you, if I were to attack a defending, well-positioned union force, I'd hesitate to do it two to one, unless I had very good forces compared to them. If I had three to one, yes, I, I could drive them from the position with reasonable uh, expectations. We are attacking the enemy for once, but I'm 90% certain they will retreat as soon as we unpause. So we're not going to bother the victory location all the way up here. We're not going to bother too much with the setup. We're just going to throw them out there and unpause and see if we actually will be able to uh, fight this battle. Uh, honestly, if I, if I, now this is the AI, so it obviously doesn't reason as I do. But uh, this is a very strong position to defend, even if you're fighting, what is it, 7 to 15, 2 to 1, yeah, around 2 to 1 odds. Um, if they were to dig in here, they would, even with low morale, you know, they, they, they can do some, some damage. All right, let's go. Fairly certain we're going to see a, a retreat, or, or maybe not. June 19, Charlottesville in Virginia. Reserve army. So why is why is this the reserve? No, it's the sorry, it's the Richmond uh, army. So, okay, between you and me, uh, we, we're gonna talk in hushed voices about this. Like this army, the leaders here, you have Beauregard. Uh, it's like the early war, and when Johnston, hey, these are not the best field commanders. Uh, this army is kind of hanging back in Richmond and. And also, it consists solely of 15,000 Virginians. Why, you ask? 
Virginia uh, volunteers are in low supply and also Virginia state support is heading down a bit. It's in the 80s, so it's no catastrophe. But compared to many other states with plenty of volunteers, it's still, you know, I, I'd like to save uh, the Virginians from the burdens of the war. Okay. Another thing I learned is that if you order an entire uh, division, it's a bit slower to implement the order. And why is that? Well, it seems the army or corps commander sends out the, the orders to the to the brigades instead of. I mean, you might think that the corps would send a um, a message to the division headquarters, and then the division headquarters would send out. But it seems that you order the individual brigade. It's faster. So I wonder if that has to do with the, the, the distance. I mean, if the core command, core headquarter is really, really close, why would it take a longer time? Well, there are two levels of uh, HQ involved. So maybe the game implements that slower. I just heard that it's faster to implement orders from a division headquarter and move an individual uh, brigade. And I mean, it makes sense. And I usually like to order individual brigades. Sure, it's much more uh, micromanagement intensive, but the game messes up. Not only now, I re if that's true, it's that it's slower. It also uh, is uh, faster. Right, so I'm gonna start moving here. A couple of, well, only one brigade. Let's send them off one by one. So uh, maybe we have a field battle here. See the Richmond, uh, they have strange colors on their uniforms. I just decided that if you're gonna sit in Richmond for the rest of the war, you better wear uh, clear blue. Uh, uniforms that's that's the way it is isn't it here comes uh, their artillery Let's send that up here so they react quite quickly here because their uh, division headquarter is very close so this is a dotted line so this is some sort of path right this is not is it because it's a it's a small road I get that but okay this is like a major road and this is a small road. There are no paved roads in the game, but a double line on the map is a, a major road and it, it is, a, I wonder what it represents. Let's call it road and path or minor road, major road. Obviously faster to move. I, I get it, I get it. It's not, it's not that hard to understand. So we're heading up here to, okay, fun, fun, a field battle, two to one. Uh, I think we can use Alt to move our army headquarter, and even I mean, we'll move up the core as well. And as soon as the Fourth Virginia passes, uh, we might as well send up the uh, Virginians here. Mm. You have to remember where you placed the the last unit on the route here so you don't, they don't stack up but hopefully we can keep giving them new orders up there okay with an army 15,000 strong I uh, I'm okay with giving uh, individual brigade and battery orders so they don't mess us st stack up and intermingle on the on the path when you play larger battles though it gets very bothersome all right the I think now with uh, the 10th Virginia Division spread out as it is on the road, if I were to give it an order to move further here, we'll do an experiment. Where's the victory? It's up here. Hmm. The roads are kind of wonky. Oh, look, this path ends at Saunders Field here to the left. Huh. Wow. These, these roads. Okay, what well, I could cut across the, the, the forest here. It's just a short distance through the forest and we're into a main road all the way up here. Wow, look at this terrain. It's gonna be a tough one. So, 
or we could cut yeah this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna press control which should allow me to order them here and then here and confirm so now the 10th virginia should march first yeah they have two two orders So my next uh, campaign, uh, I will try to do these maneuvers. I will make much shorter videos, and I will try to. I'm I'm not great at editing videos, uh, so unfortunately, I, I probably won't edit like some streamers streamers do. Uh, and I, I would edit out this move because it's very boring to watch, uh, but. I might, what I might do is have a bunch of short videos instead where I, I like do the introduction of the battle and I talk for five minutes, I cut and I start a new video, which is the actual battle when I engage and I just skip and off camera do the, uh, the mo actual strategic movement like this. But I wanna try to keep, I, I wanna, tr for now, I'm gonna uh, try to avoid doing editing. My, my YouTube audience, is so small that it's not worth the it's not worth the effort to me and you might think well how are you gonna grow your audience it's kind of a chicken and egg but trust me there's there there is a bit of uh, work involved uh, just streaming uh, uploading uh, to YouTube and, and naming and thumbnails and that's enough. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm also playing to have fun, not only to uh, produce excellent uh, st streaming material. There are plenty of other streamers that do, do great work uh, out there. All right, we have, they are fragmented in their cohesion. I'm not sure, maybe they intermingled with the garrison here. All right, yeah, the garrison has fallen behind and the 4th Virginia has overtaken them. And that means their cohesion is broken up. I think the terrain and the marching it's not a problem. It is when they uh, mix up different. Uh, but you can repair this by, by resting them. And since it's 11 o'clock in the day, we could fight two days. The, the Union Army is not going to get away. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess if the victory indicator here goes all the way up, I would lose the battle. But that's not happening anytime soon. Yes, General... General uh, von Hindenburg agrees. That's his name. He actually has a, a proper name. Ramses von Hindenburg. He's not only a pharaoh, he's also a great general. Now, if you look at the 6th Virginia Division here, they are actually doing a very good job at sending off first one brigade, then a second brigade, and, and lastly the artillery. So they are not intermingling. So. Uh, forgive me for saying that the AI always messes up. In this case, they actually did use the road perfectly and send their entire division piecemeal, one by one. And But here, for example, they are not doing such a good job. Is that my fault? Because I've... Um, yeah, I think I've mixed up the divisions here. So we'll have them march up with, with control. First step is there. Yes, but then I control click them to up here. I, I hope that works. And I suppose, right, so we use the OOB up arrow here and we get the core commander and we can have him join. No, 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 no. Alt, sorry, I press control instead. And I suppose we can use the OOB up again and grab the army commander here, Johnston, move him up. Huh. Uh, these guys are moving, but there's a lot of uh, frag, no, not a lot, two fragmented units. Not too bad, not too shabby. Did these guys stop here now? I want, no, they have orders. Bur uh, Burgard has orders. He's only a division commander. I think he's kind of PO'd. Uh, he, his career during the war hasn't been excellent, but he hasn't proven himself. T 
12 o'clock. So you should skip ahead in the YouTube video, future YouTube video here and just um, watch the, the, the fighting at the end. I mean, viewers can manually skip boring parts. So just, just skip ahead. This is speed 10. Uh, there is a bit of a traffic jam here because the 6th Virginia is pushing ahead and Okay, I think I messed up. I think I ordered the rear division to pass the mid, 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 middle division, and that's gonna mess up my cohesion a lot. How we're doing with the front division, however? Uh, can't. Yeah, they are. They are in good shape. The tenth Virginia. Yeah, we. Uh, let's see what happens if we move them up with a division order. I'm not particularly worried about the speed of the implementation of the order. I'm more worried about that they reach the position in, in, a, in a fresh condition. So move up the core commander a bit. Move up the army commander a bit. Now it's high time that we move up the next division here. Uh, I want them to reach here and I want them to cut through the forest and up here and I suppose control a third order here. So we made one, two, three waypoints for them. What's this? Is that an, that is probably an army uh, resource. I'm just gonna have them move up here on however they want. You can move however you want. Am I not generous? And if you give your uh, division commanders initiative they will stop and engage the enemy in case they encounter them so maybe maybe here would be a good oh they're now in line formation well it doesn't look like they're in line formation to me but i suppose the division formation you should ignore that visual clue it's actually the arm confusing right i mean look the army is in marching formation yes it is but the different divisions are in line formation. I don't understand. Um, oh, and the brigades are in now. Uh, in so we're probably not going to be able to advance much further without getting into contact. So maybe this would have been a good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna give a just to try this out. We're gonna give them uh, allow initiative and see what happens. Also, the entire army is allowed to engage at long range. I don't see any reason for units to not be allowed to engage on long range. I think it's a setting that you should uh, be able to save for an army or a HQ from battle to battle. You shouldn't have to set it. I'm, I, I mean, I must have set it. Oh. Uh, over 50 times in this campaign. Uh, it gets it, get, it gets old. I'd rather have one default setting and let's say I have some sort of unit that I'd, I'd prefer to sneak or you know, engage at other ranges. Why wouldn't I, ha why couldn't I just set that one? Not a big thing though. Uh, I, I haven't forgotten to do it ever. It's just, with so many other things, uh, UI-wise, quite challenging. Well, that's that's the that's that's an that's a nice way of saying it. How fr frustrated I've been in this game. Um, oh shit! Excuse my lack, Excuse my French. We just found the Union Army, and look, he made a little bit of a mistake. He's not defending the actual objective. He. He thought I was gonna march. Okay, we outflanked the Union Army, and uh, do I feel like I don't feel like giving the AI a break today? So I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna turn these guys around in line formation. Oh.
I'm gonna try to cut them off from uh, the objective if I can. Where's their artillery? Here's their artillery. Guess I'll put it back here. Now we're gonna send six. We have a lot of uh, perks to assign. So we have an, quite a lot of new sharpshooters. That's another thing. Mo, mo, every single brigade except one in the army is, are sharpshooters when they have a perk. I haven't even tried other perks. And I asked on the Steam discussion forum for the devs to update the manual so you actually get a little bit more information about the perks. I would be extremely happy if you would let me know in a PM or um, in a comment what accuracy 10% levels up at long range fire like how useful is that i try to engage mostly at long range um and use this sharpshooter also i feel it's a little bit historical i think the southern army was considered better marksman more w wilderness trained uh and considered better at arms might have been a little bit of a, a, a misconception because I'm sure a lot of the Union Northern uh, troops were recruits that came from like the Midwest, the Wild West, uh, and were outdoorsmen and, and were able to handle a, a rifle and a weapon as well. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm blabbering here, but... Um, I'm using sharpshooter perk for my entire army. Okay, I wonder if we could send Reigns division. Uh, for, yeah, we're gonna just control, give them another order so that they'll walk where they were before and then they will add this uh, target goal marching objective. And I'm not. I don't. I'm not sure if the union has um, discovered me. Oh, okay. But surely these two brigades can use skirmishers, right? I use skirmishers very heavily, and I think that's it's a really good idea. Wait, why did these look? This is so weird. These skirmishers are went down there. All right. Uh, Remember now, this brigade has initiative allowed. First time I ever used this. <clears throat> Canty's division and uh, Grigsby's brigade, the Richmond garrison in their sky blue. Well, wa no, water blue. I don't know what kind of blue this is, but it's the only brigade in the army that has it. Right, so here's a thought for the next campaign <clears throat> to allow the the AI to design the uniforms during the auto recruitment process. It would make it easier for me, speed up things a bit. And then when they get really experienced uh, and kind of uh, draw notice to themselves by being successful in battles, you could we could create Spectators and myself could give them like cool uniforms to upgrade them and change them a bit because I mean just a regular zero, no star recruit uh, Brigade who cares what kind of uniform they have We'll see about that, but it's definitely a part of the game that I enjoyed the little bit of immersion role-playing uh, uniform uh, You can change not only the colors you can also change the, the icon picture Enough talking about. Are we? I think the battle has initiated. Uh, but it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon, so it's a very late battle. Right. Of course, what I should do is. Well, there there are a couple of hours left of sunlight, so we're gonna send Sixth Virginia behind our first 10th Virginia division here and have them come up here and occupy this fence here behind this fence 
I could give him a uh, double time orders, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna give him initiative either. But I am going to have Beauregard advance with them all the way up there. So I can give him quick orders and even have the core commander get in place. I need I mean it's better that I get fast orders up at the front. Fifth Virginia. I want I want him to uh, get up here as well. I think I think that's the the next division in line. We'll have uh, the artillery by the house, by the house. This it seems my skirmishes have opened up, and we have an entire second brigade charging down on us. He didn't like being outflanked. I can understand why. So this is. It's not the first battle. No, of course not. We've been uh, engaged in battles at Richmond before. I'd say the entire army is equipped with Springfield rifle muskets. Can this Clark's battalion? It's actually a sky blue. This is my first draft un unit. I uh, don't ask me why, but I I designed one. Richmond Garrison Artillery Battery. We, he's actually a good command. He's a major, one star. He's an experienced command. Well, it's an old, you know, he, he got a good commander because he got it early in the war when I still had good commanders to, uh, to uh, deploy. Now, wait. Uh, okay, okay. We have a lot of troops, but they are, they are marching. Yeah, they are. They're all marching. Now, this one. Oh, they're tired. Their cohesion is failing. It's cut off. It's not. It's no good. We're just gonna have a move up towards the army here. I'm, I'm not. I should be able to hold off the second brigade. I have two brigades in line here. And uh, yeah, so we uh, just outflank the Union Army. Army of New England? Oh, right, of course. So I've driven them up off. They have retreated from field battles uh, multiple times. Three, four, maybe even five times before. This is the first time I, I've been able to engage them. Uh, I think it's, you know, they did the right thing to fight here. They had good terrain. The AI just messed up a bit. Uh, Let's get into line with these fellas. And uh, get into line. <clears throat> I think, oh, there's a fence. Let's, let's line up behind the fence like so. Like so, All right. Yeah, the enemy is retreating. Okay, so that that's that's a that's a problem with the game. You spend half an hour deploying, and the AI just retreats. That's unfortunate. Battle of Charlottesville. How long was this stream? Only half an hour. Okay, really no point in pursuing them. Well, oh, hmm. and even though this guy Richmond Garrison didn't have any have it had, it has a lot of initiative. They didn't pursue. Uh, they didn't turn. They didn't do it. I mean, I didn't notice them using their initiative here. I had to give them manual orders, whereas I had plenty of time turned off. Because default is turned off, allow initiative for the AI. Very, very small. I'm not even going to go through the battle here. It's not interesting. Uh, it's a sc It's yeah. I'm saying that I'm confused by how the allow initiative works. It seems the AI commanders use initiative plenty, with that with it turn it being turned off. 
and I've been griping about, about this before, but it, they use it in a very bad way. Like, they should a at least try to do stuff the right way, get in line, protect the flank, knock it out flanked a little bit, you know. If that was the case, I wouldn't mind the default setting of the game being that you can't turn off all initiative. Commander's gonna react to the situation, and once in a while, you know, that will mess up. They will mess up their, their like, personalities. Uh, shit happens in war. The problem that I have is the way the last patch is programmed, anytime a commander uses initiative, even though it's turned off, and I, I don't think it even should happen, but it does happen, they do the craziest thing. They're like, oh, we're going to turn off. They're sitting in a trench, facing the enemy army, which is charging them. And they're like, oh, we're going to turn on and, and face with our backs towards the enemy. And like, that makes the game so not fun to play. It, it's broken. And it happens, wow, way too much. 350 prisoners. They lost 250 man casualties. The prisoner count is too high i capture prisoners when um, when i withdraw if i'm severely outnumbered three or four to one you know it's good practice to withdraw from that combat and i expect to lose some prisoners to the attacking side pursuing me being superior numbers i would accept that the problem is my small withdrawing armies they take a lot of prisoners and I don't lose any prisoners. And this has been reported in the Steam uh, discussion forums. So it is. this is probably a bug. All right, I'm going to make this a short, sweet one and just restart the stream. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.